we continue our oral history, uh, segment number two with Mr. John Campbell, World War II and Korean veteran and Pearl Harbor survivor. All the airplanes are gone. You're uh, waiting to see what's going to happen. Uh, the amphibious landing you thought was going to take place in Pearl Harbor didn't happen. Um, World War II is, you know, we're, we're into it now in the Pacific. And uh, you get orders to the New Hebrides. And uh, how did you get there? And how did you get uh, resupplied with new aircraft? And what were they? Uh, at first, we had no airplanes. We uh, went down by naval ship to Espirito Santos. Uh, in the jungle, and uh, there's, a, there's a town there, but it's probably a block long that uh, uh, the best thing you get there is, go is goat ice cream. But they, uh, uh, the island was owned by the French. The most exciting thing uh, there, they told us, was that there were still living and active uh, cannibals on that island. They, they ate uh, huge clams. They put the whole clam on a, on a fire, and they would li invite us to have some, which was pretty good. Uh, there were, uh, we were short of food, but uh, there was uh, Japanese camps that had already been uh, moved out and there was a lot of rice and dried fish and, uh, and those that we, we supplemented our food with. We were there as these ships all came in. Uh, there, it's an awesome sight to see a, a, a complete armada of big battleships, both, both uh, Japanese and Americans. The, uh, the Armada was, uh, uh, was so huge, it was miles and miles. And uh, when they started to, uh, to engage each other, it was, uh, it was just awesome. Uh, the, the amount of fire that uh, these big ships could could uh, release. They were sinking a lot each other's ships and uh, uh, rescue people were going out in boats, uh, open boats. I remember one uh, talking about uh, he pulled one up and uh, the guy said, uh, I, uh, I Filipino, I've been in Naibi long time. You didn't want to be drop back in the water. And so uh, he pulled, uh, pulled him out and of course saved him. Uh, and he had been a mess cook in the, in the U.S. Navy from, for many, many years, so, which was not unusual in those days. It was sad, uh, even the Japanese, uh, you know, you hate to see people drowning, and uh, uh, they lost so many people there. 